Tight hips. We all seem to have them, and it's really no mystery why. We spend much of our day in a car, desk chair, or couch, and even when we do exercise, whether that's lifting weights, doing cardio, or even yoga, it often makes the situation worse by provoking pain and ingraining imbalances. Now, when I write programs and train my clients, the routines have to make people feel better and perform better. Whether that's squatting hundreds of pounds in a powerlifting competition or simply getting out of bed in the morning with ease. And when it comes to training for hip mobility, I rely on four types of exercises that when combined will not only help increase range of motion, but also help your hips feel and function better. It's what I call the hybrid mobility to training. And the four categories of movements that I use, I call strength, length, balance, and power. In this video, I'm going to show you examples of each of these exercises, how they work together, and a simple routine that you can plug into your current workout program. First up is strength, because what is mobility if not strength expressed through range of motion? We train hip strength through two fundamental movement patterns, the squat and the hip hinge. The squat pattern is all about dropping the hips while staying upright as much as possible through the torso. Of course, we generally want to squat as low as safely possible to not only strengthen the legs, but also to promote that deep hip mobility. And there's really no better tool for the job than the goblet squat. Whether you use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, the goblet squat can help you find and train your deepest hip range of motion. The second strength pattern is the hip hinge, but we'll be exploring that one in the balance and power sections. After strength is length. Now, a lot of coaches will say that stretching is a waste of time and that flexibility training will actually hurt your performance in the gym. Now, taken to the extreme, I agree, but most lifters will benefit tremendously from just a bit of targeted stretching. And one of my favorite positions for opening up and balancing out the hips is the shin box. Quite simply, you'll sit with one bent knee in front and one out to the side, creating hip external and internal rotation respectively. From here, you can hinge forward to stretch the rear of the front hip and lean back to stretch the front of the rear hip. The third component of our hip mobility formula is balance. Now, being able to stabilize yourself on one leg is a crucial athletic and life skill. And when your leg, hip, and core muscle groups are strong and coordinated, this creates an environment of stability that further promotes mobility. A great single leg exercise that offers plenty of variations and works the hip hinge pattern is the single leg deadlift. With squats, the goal is to drop the hips down, but with the hinge, we're aiming to push the hips back with soft knees. We can choose from many variations to learn, practice, and progress the single leg deadlift, but the main principles are to root through the standing foot, push the hips, and reach back with the floating heel. Keep the spine neutral with tight lats and abs. Don't use momentum. You should be able to pause at any angle and maintain your balance. The final step is hip power. And you could probably guess my top exercise for that. And it is the kettlebell swing. The swing is the most dynamic application of the hip hinge and builds pliable hamstrings, strong glutes, and a stable core. Plus, we finish every swing in a tall posture with extended hips. This basically equates to a mini hip flexor stretch with every rep. So if you're someone who struggles with tight hips, you're probably missing one or more of these movement types in your training. Now to get the best results, I suggest performing a complete hybrid hip mobility routine once or twice every week. That's 20 to 30 minutes dedicated to hip strength, length, 
balance, and power to be used as either a standalone workout or a robust warm-up. This is something that I've been doing with my clients for years, and I always get great feedback about it. And if you're interested in exploring one of these workouts for yourself, I've got a special follow along video you can check out where I actually walk you through a series of movement sequences that includes everything you've seen here, plus a ton of other fun exercises. All you need is a light to moderate kettlebell and some floor space. The hip mobility video also comes with a companion guide detailing all the moves so you can perform the routine without having to follow along in real time and also give some advice on how to plug this routine into your current workout schedule. Just click the link below to learn more and get instant access to the workout. I appreciate you watching the video to the end. All the best in your training and hope to see you on the inside.